Hello, I wanted to provide an update to members of the Lowell community regarding the uptick in new cases of COVID-19 that we have seen in the city over recent weeks. On Wednesday, September 30, Lowell's classification under the state's COVID-19 risk designation system was elevated to red or higher risk. Communities with an average number of new daily cases rate per 100,000 residents exceeding eight over a 14 day period are considered red. At the time of the state's reporting on Wednesday, Lowell's rate was 10.9 based on the 179 new cases among residents identified in the past 14 days. The positivity rate among residents tested is currently 2.7%, marking a continuation of a consistent increase over recent weeks. Through the continued contact tracing efforts of the city's health department, we know that some of the recently identified cases are attributable to clusters in the city. However, the department's monitoring has also indicated that transmission is taking place in all neighborhoods in the city and across all age groups. Public health experts have long anticipated an increase in new cases of COVID-19 as we move into the fall months. While the uptick we are experiencing is not fully unexpected, it should be taken as cause for all of us to renew our collective adherence to public health measures that have proven effective in slowing the spread of the virus. Our ability to prevent further acceleration of transmission in Lowell will require a concerted community-wide effort. The use of masks have, has proven to be among the most effective public health tools in preventing transmission. The governor's order requiring masks in settings where social distancing is not possible remains in effect and is being enforced in the city of Lowell. Whenever you enter a public setting or spend time around people outside of your immediate household, wearing a mask is a requirement, not an option. This applies to both indoor and outdoor settings. Because the virus can be carried and spread by individuals who are asymptomatic, it is critical that you cover your face even if you don't feel sick, no matter what. Again, this is an effective way to keep yourself, your neighbors, and those you care about safe. Wearing a mask is not a substitute for social distancing, however. It is important to continue to maintain a physical distance of six feet from others whenever you leave your home. I also wanna remind residents that large gatherings pose a substantial risk for widespread transmission of the virus. Throughout Massachusetts, clusters of positive COVID-19 cases have been traced to house parties and other similar events, clearly indicating that gatherings can contribute to spikes in cases. In general, any setting where close person-to-person -person contact may take place should be avoided. Outdoor events are safer and pose a lower risk of transmission than indoor events. However, restrictions are in place for both. Currently, indoor gatherings are limited to eight people per 1,000 square feet or 25 people total. And outdoor gatherings are limited to 50 people total. Face coverings are required at any gatherings of more than 10 people. The city is actively monitoring the community for gatherings that exceed these guidelines and will continue to take action to enforce them as necessary. Residents should constantly remain attentive to symptoms of COVID-19 and stay home if you're sick. If you are experiencing fever, cough, shortness of breath, or other mild system, symptoms, play it safe. Do not run errands or enter your workplace and seek testing if symptoms worsen. We are all anxious to go back to our pre-pandemic ways of life but our ability to resume life as normal will depend on our collective vigilance now to keep the spread down. So remember, mask up, keep your distance, avoid large gatherings, and stay home if you're sick. Thank you for doing your part.